Tennessee Whiskey. Okay, this is a song you can make your own really because there's only two chords and there's a little bit of um, single notes thrown in to make it sound a little bit bluesy, country bluesy or whatever. Um, and it's very easy on the baritone ukulele. Put the capo on the second fret because then you're in the same key as the wonderful Chris Stapleton. If you search for him on YouTube, you can play along to him. You'll see what I mean a bit later and then you get the feel for the song. So, capo on the second fret. Uh, you're in A, you're in the key of A, but you're going to play the G shape, which is like that on the baritone ukulele. You're, you're just holding down the third fret of the top string, the rest is open, and then you go into an A minor. An A minor, first finger on the first fret of the B string, which is the second to the top string. Second finger on the second fret of the bottom string, third finger on the second fret of the next to the bottom. This is how you would play on a guitar. Because it's a baritone ukulele and you don't have a bottom E, you can play all four strings. So that's all you're doing, you're playing G, A minor. If you see Chris Stapleton play it, he'll play it without the capo and he's playing A chord and then the, the B minor. Uh, but I'm afraid you have to play a bar chord. If you want to do that, you can, but it's easier for a beginner, I think, if you put the capo on the second fret. So there's an intro which you can use also as a middle bit and an end bit and it's it's the melody really, it's like this, it's the song so you're going it's easy ooh sorry um, I'll show you that because you don't have to play that. You could just you could just split open second fret of the bottom string, open next string, open next string. But it sounds better if you hammer on and then slide up. All you're doing is going from the second to the fourth when you're playing this sort of opening bit. You're going open, bottom string, second finger, second fret, open, and then you're sliding from the second fret of the next to the bottom string, from the second fret to the fourth fret. Then back down and slide again, and back down, open, slide up again, and down again, up again. And when you listen to Chris Stapleton, when you search for him, Chris Stapleton, Tennessee Whiskey, and you play along with him, you can play that riff all the way through his song, you'll get a feel for the song then, and the melody. Um, and he plays it in, as I say, in the key of A, so you're in the key of A with your capo on the second fret, so it all works well. Um, so yeah, so if you can manage that, it will sound a lot, lot better. It sounds cool, it sounds difficult, but it isn't. So all you're doing is you're playing your, your G. Last bit, if you want to go from a G to a C, G, and a C is the first finger on the first fret of the B string, B string, second string to the top, and your second finger on the bottom string, second fret. It's a C. If you're not used to the baritone ukulele, you've got to remember there's only four strings, and this, this, this is tuned like the top four strings of a guitar. So you've got D, G, B, and E. So if you know a little bit about a guitar, you know when you play the E, the G chord, you, you're playing the bottom two strings with your finger, you're holding down the bottom two strings and then you've got your little finger on the, that one. Well you haven't got the bottom two strings, so you're only holding down one string. And the A minor is exactly the same as it would have been on a guitar, of course. Um, and so you're, when you're singing this song, 
you don't really have to remember the chords because you're all you're going is for. And remember the beat is six eight time. One two three four five six. 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 If you don't know the song very, very well, as I say, listen to Chris Stapleton's version, and it's a very easy song. There's, 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 a, there's a verse, a chorus, and a second verse. And the verse, the melody is the same as the chorus, so you can't go wrong with it. It's the same as what you're playing, what you just played here. This is a tune, so. Do, 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 you're a smooth. 